right, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a little special here on Reckless Eating. Uh, we have a friend that has returned. Um, we're gonna be trying some bugs. Uh, I hung out with you uh, like multiple times in the past in LA. We've done food tastings and whatnot, but why don't you tell them who you are and what we're doing? Yeah, so my name is Allie Moore. I run an Instagram handle called Buggable, also a blog and uh, event site for bug and wine pairings, bug dinners, bug cooking classes. And that's B-U-G-I-B-L-E, too hard to spell, and I only learned that later. But Everything will be down below, so if you're interested in, you know, following our Instagram, looking at the company, whatever, anything that needs to be down there will be down there, so yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're going to be doing, uh, basically every time that I hang out with you, because I'm open to bugs, uh, I've tried certain things like you uh, had me try a pasta in the past that I liked, also there was a burger that had crickets coming out of it that was pretty decent. <laughs> Um, but I'm not like against bugs, but I am definitely always on the fence because I do crickets all the time on the show. Um, so you're going to try at first, we're going to start with something that's more pleasing and then move on to something that maybe is not pleasing visually, but you might change my mind. So these are trick strips. They are like the, the gateway bug, I kind of call them. And bug. yeah, the puns are not real. <laughs> I've, I've loaded okay. that more since you like saw it. me. That's great. There's like fun facts like they have like 150% of your B12 and like a bag of chips. Okay. So cool stuff. And uh, yeah, this is not a pairing, but just to kind of like get your feet wet. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, deep. Let's try it. I, actually, I love this kind of stuff. Like I'm down. If it was more like this, then I would be, I would be completely open. Let's just switch the bugs. It smells good. Right. Oh yeah, those are really good. Mm -hmm. Is I bet you though, is that that's the junk food of bug food, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. hundred percent. Because it actually tastes great. First up, queen weaver ants. I have a song for this one. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Queen weaver ants. <laughs> they are herbal. Balanced, kind of tastes like a corn nut. Okay. Very, very basic. And so for that, we're gonna pair it with a, you know, kind of semi-sweet, very basic white. Typically, you want like to go with like. I've learned, and this should be <coughs> subtle enough that it doesn't overwhelm the flavor. Right. I've had queen weaver ants before, so they were not the worst thing in the world. I just thought they were dry. All right. Man, me from like seven years ago, we're screaming right now. Come a long way. Yeah, from a You've long way. You've done stuff I would yeah. never do, though. It's true. I'm technically a cannibal. What? It wasn't and bad, by the way. That was actually, yeah, it was fine. It's like the corn nut of the bug world. These are bamboo worms, which I'm sure you've had. Okay, yes. Uh, but I had, the ones I had, the experience was not as good. Uh, they were from that same website that I use, mm -hmm. uh, Thailand Unique. They'll taste like cold paper, maybe Gruyere cheese. Cold paper. <laughs> I like how you put the cheese at the end. You hit them, you practice that. You hit them with like the the reality of the situation and you're like, put a little bit of cheese too, you know? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, that is an unpleasant texture to say the least. Um, so oh, it's squishy. We're oh. getting the weird ones out of the way. Mm -hmm. Flavor-wise, you are totally correct. It's like if I put a piece of paper, or like maybe I put something in my pocket and went through the wash, and you're like, well, I wonder what this tastes like. That's what it would be. The kids actually gave me that one. I do a lot of kid events. Ah, okay. They gave me that tasting note. I have been told that I am a child sometimes, so we have a lot in common. These, and then we're gonna move on to a new wine. I've been told a reminiscent of walking through a farm field and getting a whiff of that manure, <laughs> yeah. but in a good way. Yeah, no. These I have always hated, and I will always hate uh, <laughs> super worms. There's yeah. something about them. But uh, granted, the first time we tried them, we did them alive, so that was awful. And you're like, don't hurt the bugs. I agree. We don't do that very often anymore. <laughs> but yeah. Oh yeah, that's... Okay, what I'm gonna try to do with you though is like change your mind a yeah. little bit, because the cool thing about wine pairing is like you put on a different frame, Okay. and now you're like this wine taster trying to mm -hmm. pair it with not moldy cheese, but a delicious nut. It tasted better than the previous one. Okay. But that's because I knew what I was expecting. And also okay. it didn't have like a mushy center, which helped a lot. So you're texture oriented. I am 100% texture oriented. Okay. Yeah, that's always my biggest problem. We're going to jump out of order for the wines, um, but now we're going to compare super worms to mealworms in general. Yeah, let's do it. And it's kind of fun to see how much they differ. Uh -huh. Just imagine that you're eating tramix. Okay. And this just comes up following randomly. Around, following your and you're like, ooh, I just got a really good peanut. And it has a little bit of like a, a, a cashew flair to it. These are actually okay, by the way. 
I don't mind these at all. Because these are the ones that they sell in the, um, in the mall, but they usually have them like bacon flavored or whatever flavored. Uh, we're gonna do just like a very uh, basic, kind of slightly spicy cap stove um, with some of these ones that are kind of more umami forward, mushroomy. It's just a pretty safe bet. Nothing too exciting here. I should enhance the flavors. Okay, let's do it. I know this one's gonna be decent, so. Yes. Yeah, those are actually like really good. Those are solid. I think it's just the size difference on them because they're more, more crunchy. It reminds me more of regular food rather than yeah. the other ones that remind me more of, you know, a bug. <laughs> they do have like a flavor arc because you're biting they the do. exoskeleton. Yeah, they do. And it changes. So you'll get that outer shell. And then if you go like, whether yeah. you or not, to, like if you want to or not, you'll get the innard. It is crazy though how they, yeah, like the other ones just taste like the one flavor, but this one kind of arcs and goes up, yeah. It, it tastes like normal food, like I'm kind of surprised more people don't eat these. That one's one of the front runners. It has to be, because like mm -hmm. I said, I, it's the only one that I see in like candy stores and stuff. These are just plain crickets. Oh, here we go, my boys. Yeah. <laughs> these, are, these are my boys. <laughs> okay, here we go, let's do it. Bye, friend. Yours tastes way better than mine do though. These ones have like a really subtle sweetness to them too, you pick it up? They just taste like regular food. They don't taste like dirt. Because that's the ones that I get from the other website. It tastes yeah. like dried oatmeal to me. It is. It's a lot better on its own, I think. At least, uh, do. but like you said, it might depend on how they raise them and what, what they do to them. So, mm. yeah, <clears throat> that makes sense. Exoskeleton in my throat. That's oh. not a sentence you say very often. <laughs> no, no, no indeed. So these guys are tricky, actually, because you they can't big. eat the legs. Like, look how sharp these are. Oh, yeah. No, that's, yeah, that's Deathmus Maximus. Yeah. All right, yeah. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. That is terrifying. All I'm right. going to open mind. Yeah, open mind. Yes. All right, cheers. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> you, what you were trying to do is so commendable because it's such... You're working against the system because we're a society that has been... The, we're the most comfortable society in human history. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to get people to do something that's good. It's, it's a solution to a lot of the world hunger issues. But it's like, what an uphill battle it's got to be. Yeah. It's not going to be these guys that do it. This no. is like over-sensationalizing for the sake of marketing. Yeah. It, you know, it has a role. It's not the worst thing in the world. I've had worse bugs, for sure. Okay. But my problem is it's, it's all the texture and in my head. That's where I start to have an issue with it. Yeah, this one though, if you can imagine, so it's kind of got that like, um, almost like stem of some vegetable flavor. Yeah, I was trying to put like a flavor to it, because it mm -hmm. does taste like something. It doesn't just taste like bugs, which is good. So we're going to switch gears yet again and move on to Japonines. Have you had those? No, okay. I don't think so. We're going to do a peppery Malbec. That was my nickname in uh, college as well. Yeah, Japonines, which means grasshopper in Spanish. Okay. And this was one of the first bugs that I actually ever ate. I think the first, yeah, it might have been grasshopper actually. Either grasshopper or cricket or super worm, one of them. So these are from Mexi Mercado and they're trying to corner the premium bug market because okay. we have a premium bug market already. That's funny. Yeah, they do a good job. They like focus a lot on really good flavors okay. and they make a lot of salts. So, so they're trying, they're trying their absolute best to to switch people's minds as well. Yeah, okay. and rim people's margarita glasses. Oh, okay. Which is. A good That's bet. a pretty interesting idea. Okay. All right, That's now let's cool. eat this bug. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, you just tell there's flavor there for sure. Yeah, that's actually not bad at all. It's like a um, tahine mix, or like a michelada, do you know what that's Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's easily the best thing we've tried so far. Snackable. That's very good. And the reason for the pairing is that's a little more potent, a little flavor punch. Mm -hmm. Got the peppery? It did. It, it hit. Can you imagine if we do get to the point one day where, you know, you go to 7-Eleven and next to the potato chips you have like flavored bugs and people just eat that. We're totally so good. Yes. One day we probably will. There is a brand in Asia that is in 7-Elevens. Okay. Yes. So. Yeah. They're a little bit more open. <laughs> yeah, totally. But, uh, Church Chips actually, they got to deal with Kroger and they are in good. Ralph's now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. That's true because you, you got to uh, imagine though, we also have all those health food places that are probably starting to get into it. This is kind of another example of that potato chip thing you mentioned. Okay. Um, these are chili lime crickets from Entomo okay. Farms and they're, they're just good. These are like, think of crickets kind of like an unseasoned potato chip, just like a flavored vehicle waiting for chili lime or sea salt and vinegar or whatever else goes on potato chips. Okay. I mean, I've, I already know these are going to be fine. You can just tell. 
Just... Once they start adding things to it, my only problem with bugs is when it's just a bug. Like, it's just, all they did was just give it to you and that's that. Yeah. But once they start adding stuff. It's a... Yeah, great flavor. Very good. I yeah. like it. That is very good. Mm -hmm. We're kind of breezing through the pairing element, but that's because we're talking a lot about the bugs. Yeah, the bugs are that. the focus. The wine is the happy after effect. I think we want to go take a trip down. Barbecue. Uh, we did chili wine. I've asked you this before, but I don't think I got it on the camera the last time. What is uh, one bug specifically that you don't like? Like, because obviously, if you're, you know, food, there's gonna be something you don't like. There's gotta be one that stands mm -hmm. out that you're not, you're not for. I'm not a big fan of dried silkworm pupa. Yes. Oh, that's mine. Yes. Yeah. I hate silkworm pupa. It's yeah. because it explodes in your mouth. Sex. But if you put them in like soups or stuff, they actually taste really different. I imagine, yeah. You um, probably make it work. Yeah. Because they do have a distinct flavor. They don't taste like anything else, in my opinion. Every time I've got a silkworm pupa, I go, that's a silkworm pupa. Barbecue crickets. But, barbecue crickets. Okay. Yeah. So again, this will be delicious. Oh, there's a big one right there. Oh, yeah. Are you eating the together. chunk? No. <laughs> a little chunk of crickets. <laughs> Gladly. Another sentence that most people don't say in their everyday lives. Mm hmm. Not as good as the previous one, but still, like, good. It's just, like, barbecue. Yeah, it's barbecue. A little heavy on the seasoning on this I thing. feel like spices work better as a flavoring for bugs than barbecue would. So, we've made it through some of the beginner bugs and the middle bugs. Uh oh and Now I think we want to go just kind of on a detour. Oh, oh god. All right. Well, here we go. Giant crickets. Oh no. Okay, so this one's big, because I gotta tell you right now, I'm nervous. That's These look even more horrifying than, than the other big one that we did. So this is kind of like um, dried straw. So it's different than the locust. That one okay. was a little bit more fibrous and kind of like a plant-like, veg vegetal. This one is much more like hay, straw, and then that feeling that you get from like that gummy substance. Okay. But okay. It's, it's so benign indistinguishable from normal food though is what you're getting at because i didn't hear like anything that would be like a normal food item basically so get ready for there's there's no guts nothing nothing gooey. okay as long as there's nothing gooey yeah okay getting through that head was not fun but <laughs> it's just dry it's very dry yeah what does that remind that would be like chewing on like straw that like, mm -hmm. you just ripped off and just went I want some straw right now. Oh, that would be friends with the Tin Man. <laughs> That's how straw he is. Not the worst thing in the world. Again, I, I do think that you could turn this, using this as an ingredient, you could turn this into awesome stuff. Mm -hmm. I just wouldn't want to eat it as is like that directly. Have you had a sago grab before? Or a palm leaf larva? It sounds familiar. The goal with the raw ingredients is to just, you know, get a basic understanding of unadulterated, what does it taste like, and then I want to pass that off to chefs. Uh -huh and get them to work with it. There you go. Just gonna say, visually, I can see why somebody would see this and go, I would rather put anything else in my my mouth than this. So let's find out if the flavor is going to counter that though. <laughs> like she's smiling, like I have heard over 100,000 people tell me that to my face. <laughs> it's uh, polarizing. Okay, oh God, no, okay. Oh yeah, that's polarizing, all right. Try to keep an open mind here. <laughs> So, oh, it's so pasty. What do you get? What do you get flavor-wise, though? Silkworm pupa, actually, but like, it's just because of the texture. It's the bacon of the bug world. Oh, I've yeah. never got bacon, though. Oh. Maybe a little bit of weird prosciutto. Okay. But mostly kind of burnt creme brulee. Yeah, it has like something going on right at the end, for sure. Yeah. Have you had a gene beetle? You probably have, huh? Uh, yeah, but I don't remember, so. Let's I don't know if I want to put you through, so. I'm down to do whatever. That looks scary. Little June beetles. Yes. These ones, I caution again, these are really fun to explore flavor through. Okay. Um, I like to candy them if I'm going to serve them. Don't serve them in this state normally. A little metallic, a little acidic, a little muted by the Chardonnay, so if you absolutely don't like the flavor, take a quick sip and it'll balance it a lot you. more. I think at this point, since I've done scorpions, I've done you know, spiders, I've done centipedes. I don't think there's any bug that's gonna make me immediately lose it or, okay. or be completely against it. Like, I'm open to trying them. I just won't like it or I'll like it, so let's do it. Yay. Yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world. I've been told it tastes like what a nickel might taste like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's metallic, for sure, yeah. <laughs> Have you had a, a Mopani worm before? No, I have not. They're, they're like a caterpillar-esque type thing, and they are quite nutritious. Um, these are dried up. Okay. Um, people have gotten 
Christmas almost from this. A okay. nutmeg and kind of like a pine pine taste. You said a sentence that took a swerve that I wasn't expecting. In my head you said that people have gotten out of this and normally that's like a negative ending. People have gotten sick out of this, people have died, but then you go, oh it's Christmas. And I was like, <laughs> well my head couldn't keep up with you on that one. Okay, well so, I say I trust I trust you. Let's yeah. do it. That's not the texture I expected. Mm -mm. Like I don't love it. But it doesn't make me want to, like, immediately hate it either. Oh, my gentle Jesus. Oh, one of my biggest fears. Really? Uh, in the bug world, yeah, scorpions are, like, my no-no. Maybe this will be a pro Can you for eat you? the tail, too, though? Uh, it's a good habit to take it off. These ones, okay, it's so small that, like, okay. if, Thank you God. Know, Thank God. Because was, it was happening no matter what. I just wanted to make sure that I was vindicated. They're over-salted, this batch, I'm going to warn you. Um... I got these, you know, obviously pre-done, so it's gonna taste kind of like a martini. I don't know. It's really it's potent. Well, I wanted the off. No, it's fine. Let's go. All right. Salt. Whoa, that's salty. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. <laughs> Whoa. A little briny. Oh my god. Yep. It's gross for the opposite reasons. <laughs> Too much. Mm -hmm. Demasiado. Yeah. Oh wow, it's like they soaked it into a, like a tub full of the stuff. Yeah, I gotta finish. I have to finish a tub full of this. So. Whoa! Hey, wow. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, hey, you know what? I'm gonna give you some credit. It's the best scorpion I've ever tasted because it didn't taste like a scorpion. There oh. we go. We win. <laughs> okay, but actually done right though. These guys can taste really, really good. Like like a good salmon jerky. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whew. Well, you know, fun fact: they are not insects. What are they? They are arachnids. What? Oh, that's why they're so scary then. I told you I hated spiders. There we go. We learn something new every day. Close your eyes. Oh, no. Oh, God. He might come alive in my mouth. Okay. Uh, scorpions can reanimate after you freeze them sometimes. I've heard that. Yeah, these guys, I mean, okay. So, um, the way this is served, like, not great. But the legs taste so dang good. Okay. Like, really good. <laughs> She's um, roasting it. So yeah, we're not gonna actually just like uh, cook this one up because this is not a cooking show today. Yeah, we just don't want any like, I mean the hair I think for me is off-putting. It's like, let me just make sure it's uh... I think you'll like it. I really do. Okay. I think you're gonna like it. I just like that I'm doing the leg and not the body. Here we go. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's that like is pretty good. good. premium beef jerky. Like really good. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely should have put the right wine out for this, but hey, this is, this is refreshing. If, okay, so if somebody gave me that and I didn't know what it was and they lied to me and told me that it was uh, Tom Cruise and the next Mission Impossible somehow in a little <laughs> tiny thing, uh, I would have the same reaction because those movies are awesome and that tasted pretty good. Yeah. Yay! That was good. Cheers yeah. to that, bud. Cheers to that. Not insect. These <clears throat> are... Bigger June bugs. Oh, good lord, no. And they're gonna taste <laughs> oh, God, they're so, so different. They're so big. Mm -hmm. So they'll taste kind of, they're gonna be salty and a little savory. Okay. Yeah, cheers. Oh, God. Remarkably different. The flavor's good. Mm -hmm. The texture is really, really out there. Oh, it's so much <laughs> bug. <laughs> it's so much bug. They are surprisingly filling, though. Cause your body I imagine. Is I like imagine. Nutrients. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh Jesus! It was interesting. I'll give it that. It was interesting. That's all we asked for. Yes. Because we put you through a little bit of micro trauma, we're gonna go like a fun zone. Okay. Um, I don't know. These are really cute. These look like bites. Snacks. I love all of the like anything that's packaged like that, because you know that they gotta make it at least okay. You know, we got companies sent us a couple of uh, cricket bars before that were pretty good. Which ones? I can't remember. It was years ago. Oh, we got all the cricket. Oh, bars. you probably yeah. probably have it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't normally see protein bars like this. I think that they have zero percent of any of like that nutty umami aftertaste that older bars used to have. Yeah. Maybe you've experienced that as well. That's good. Right. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. Most delicious. We're gonna just try some fun red termites. Mm -hmm. This is the violet you mentioned, right? Yeah. There you go. It had ants in it, but yeah, <clears throat> it had uh, black ants. So termites, fun fact, are actually not a bug that I'm looking to grow. Uh, and mass produce for human consumptions because they produce almost as much methane as cows. Okay, so they're real bad. They're not environmentally sustainable in the same way that other insects are. But I only have a vial and they're just kind of cool. It doesn't taste like anything, really. 
I get a little woodsiness. I think the protein bar was so flavorful that it knocked it out. Mm -hmm. Forgot to palate refresh with the wine in between. He pointed this out. Yeah, scorpion earlier. powder. It's, Hell yeah. I've actually yet to try this. Little little vial of scorpion powder. Is there like a web website where they just break down bugs into powders and sell the powders? Not yet. Oh, there should be. Oh boy. Oh, that smells interesting for sure. It smells over salted to me. Yeah, probably. It smells like that ticket suit. We're gonna see. Let's do it. I figure we'll just do a little, do a little dab, dab, dab. Hmm. Whoa! That was not what I was expecting. No! What is that? <laughs> uh, it tastes kind of like a berry botsby flavor. Whoa, that is weird. Wait. It's almost ammonia-y a little bit too. That is so strange. It's not like... It does not taste like a scorpion to me. Wait, what? That is so different. I don't know. Does not taste how it if smells. She, if she is saying that it doesn't taste like a scorpion, then yeah. you have an expert saying that. That's nuts. That was the opposite flavor I thought we were going to go through. This is a French company, and you've just seen mine in like these little jars and stuff. Um, but this, they're like uh, micronutrients, and they make these like really cute little Let's do it. Boxes. I like the packaging. Yeah. yeah. We've got crickets and mealworms mixed in. A little bit of both. That's cool. I bet it's going to be good. Yeah, not bad at all. I've actually never had a snack flavored with that before. It feels like mature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like it tastes like it's uh, above the other ones. Like it's almost like this is for rich people, basically. This is the rich people bugs selection. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah, I not feel bad. like that's that's like the fancy gin of the bug world. Do you wanna try a dog treat? So now we're gonna try a, a dog treat. Was oh, this for dogs specifically, or just? So yeah, Jiminy's is like they're actually super dope, okay. and she Let's makes go. dog treats from crickets. And it's actually really good for them too. But Let's do it. I didn't ever think I would try this, but you have emboldened me. <laughs> Let's go. Why not? Ah. She needs to start making cat treats, though. Look at these. This definitely looks like a dog would eat this, though. Oh, it smells like beef jerky. Yeah, it's okay. probably gonna be really good. Okay. Oh, that's not bad at all. I will say I'm gonna give her some credit. <laughs> that's the best dog treat I've ever tasted. Really? And that's a sentence I shouldn't say. <laughs> I'm gonna venture to say that's the first dog treat that's been paired with wine. Well, let's here pour some of those. Let's finish off with shield bugs then, yeah. Unless you have something else that's bigger. Oh, I, I mean, I was, I'm what is down the... to try a giant water bug again. Okay, let's do the shield bugs, and we'll finish off with the giant water bug just because. Mine might be better than the one. It might be had. better. You're right, and I also might uh, jump through your know, your door here and run while I'm screaming. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! Marketing name for shield bugs is no. A stink bug. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. I had no idea that they were the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Uh, I these no don't idea. taste like anything though. They just did to me. I didn't get anything. Some little Lexus Yeah, them. they're fine. Mm, Ta-da! Oh, yep, that's him. That is him. Fine, oh fun. God. I actually, uh, way, way, way too much. I get it for like the average person. Oh but yeah. Oh, hundred percent. They're terrifying. They are absolutely terrifying. This in a Bloody Mary. Right? Uh, imagine this not in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but like, okay, shrimp, lobster, terrifying. Oh, oh my god. god. This. There is a healthy chance that this is not going to be swallowed. It's so fibrous, that's difficult. If you just try one of the legs though. Okay, I'm just fine with that. Leg. I'm fine with that. Oh god, oh I feel so bad. Oh, I also, oh. that's another thing, I feel bad for these things. Not a lot of room for cognitive dissonance when you're holding uh, it. Oh yeah, it's difficult. All right. Should just be like, I totally get the seed of a sunflower. More commonly said as a sunflower seed. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I could see it. It's too bad I don't like sunflower seeds that you much. Don't? No. Mm, okay, that would explain it. The rest of it's good. I'm just, you're, you're gonna be chewing for a while. Mm -hmm. All right, um, so this is our main event of the video. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. uh, and make sure to check out uh, all of her links down below. Give her follow, subscribes, give her whatever she needs. <laughs> Just didn't want to talk and say anything when I might have a bug in my teeth. Embarrassing. Super appreciate it. And while he's doing that, I'll say thank you. Oh, that's, mm, I gotta tell you, <laughs> not my thing. If you had to pick a favorite bug though. Uh, the, the, well, the little mealworms, the ones we tried, the really tiny ones. Yeah. Those are good. I've always thought those were pretty decent. <laughs>